mum. Yes, darling. I just want to say you make me want to. You're not about it. Hey, this is Darren here. I am going to the shop today, to get a few things. Dad, I'm having a problem with my laptop. What's wrong with the computer, son? It keeps crashing when I do my work. The system rating is 7.9. That is really odd. And it does this to me. I feel like crying dad, as I keep losing my work. Hey Roscoe, what's wrong, darling? I keep losing my work due to my laptop crashing all the time. Oh no, poor you, darling. Is there anything I can do for you? That is so sweet of you, darling. I can feel tears filling my eyes now. What does that mean? He's just about to turn on the waterworks. You're absolutely right, Dad. Poor you, Roscoe. What am I going to do? My Dropbox has also gone all over the chute. We shall have a look at PC World for another laptop. If it's anything, you'd better get me a Mac this time, as I have had it with PCs. We shall have a look at the best MacBook Pro for you. That is really sweet of you, Lizzie. Loves you so much, darling. Which version of Microsoft Office would you require? This laptop had Microsoft Office 2010. So, we reckon the 2011 version for the Mac. What a day this is turning out to be. We will see you later, darling. My laptop keeps breaking down. It doesn't even load. Why does this always happen to poor Roscoe Stratton? First off, it's my tear ducts, and now it's my laptop. Everything's going down the pan for me. I'll tell you what, I might just give up the fight. I don't deserve anything fancy. All the fancy stuff I have, keeps breaking down on me. Roscoe, darling. I heard you beating yourself up here. What's wrong? My laptop, like all of my fancy stuff, has broken down on me. Oh no, son. I feel so bad for you. That's why you're crying. I was just saying to the audience at home, about how I don't deserve anything fancy. But, you know this. Since you're 23 soon, you don't need to worry about a thing, and I don't just mean, for the 24th year, but for the rest of your life. So, what are we going to do about this? I know Dad and Lizzie are looking for another Mac for me. And, Roscoe James Stratton, don't beat yourself up. You're worth millions more than this, and you should know that too. I just can't help it though. I am so disorganized. Anyways. I think your father and Lizzie are on their way back now. I still think I should give up asking for fancy stuff, as I know that it's only going to break on me. Oh no, what's happened to Roscoe? I don't know, Dad. But, I shall have a look upstairs. Five minutes later, and Lizzie cries out. Dad. I don't believe this. Roscoe has knocked himself out. Roscoe? No. Lizzie, I am on my way up. Oh no, my darling Roscoe is out cold. Darling, I've just changed our... Roscoe? Roscoe? My poor son is out cold. Anyone know what's happened? What on earth has happened to my Roscoe? I've just seen the cable from his old laptop. Maybe he might have tripped up over this. That has to be some force though, my poor Roscoe. This is a 50-50 split, but I'm worried in case this has killed him. My poor brother. I feel so bad, now. All the times I've disrespected him, and now he is like this. I am never going to live this down. Lizzie, darling. We shall take him into hospital, and see what they say. You shouldn't beat yourself up over this, that's not what Roscoe would have wanted. But, Dad, 
I think he could be dead though. I hope for all time's sake, Lizzie, that he isn't. I hope so too, Dad. Roscoe is the best brother in the world, and it hurts seeing him this way. Let's take him to the hospital, darling. They know what to do. Okay, Dad. Let's go. Now. Causes are unknown, as to how Roscoe knocked himself out. But, he has landed himself in a coma. How long he stays this way, or whether or not he survives, shall be covered in the next episode. Can't we have found this out any sooner? I want Roscoe to be alive, and with me, right now, my Roscoe is in a coma, and now, I don't know what to do. I don't even know, if he is going to come round at all, that trip could have killed him. I hope, that for all time's sake dad, you're wrong. I hope so too, darling. I can't even come close, to imagine life without my son. I can't imagine living the life without my brother. Come on, Roscoe. You can make it, son. I absolutely forbid you to die, whilst under my care. You can find out, whether or not Roscoe comes round, in the next episode.